So guys, the one thing they said you'll never be able to do, I think I've actually done that on the 4K Fire Stick, and that's actually using a standard USB drive as external storage. So what this means is I can now move any application from the tiny internal space that we get on the 4K Fire Stick onto my external USB. I mean, this one is 32 gig in size, but there's no reason why I can't use a 64 gig or even 128 gig to really maximize that storage. Now I've already done that for a couple of applications. And the way you know that they're actually on the USB drive and not on the internal storage is they have this USB logo here, guys. Now, before I continue, I do have to give a massive shout out to the guys both on Reddit and also on the XDA forums. I mean, those guys have actually rooted this, which I may actually do for another video, but those those guys really do deserve all the credit. So this application is on my USB drive, scrolling down. And for example, this application is on my USB drive. So really guys, one of the biggest issues with the 4K Fire Stick is just the fact that you really get no storage whatsoever. And there's no real way of expanding that storage until today. So click on launch. And this is now launching from my USB drive, guys. And as you can see, that's pretty much instantaneous. So in this video today, let me show you exactly what you need to do, what bits of equipment you need and the process that you can follow so you can now start migrating all of your installed applications onto your external USB drive. Coming up right after this. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so for this process to work, we need to have a couple of things. Firstly, we need to have an OTG cable. Now you can pick these up for a couple of quid from Amazon or from eBay. But essentially, you get this cable, you plug this into the normal power port. In fact, let me just show you. So here's my second generation Fire Stick, which really did serve me well. So you plug this into the normal power port of your device, like so. And then you plug in the power cable into here and you now have a full size USB port. Now in this USB port, you can add in, you know, USB keyboard, USB mouse, or even a USB hub. But in my example, I'm going to plug in a USB three flash drive. Even though this port is only USB two, I'm still going to plug in a USB three drive. Now, this is probably one of the most critical part of this whole process because the flash drive you use or the drive you use really determines whether this process is going to work or not. And the reason why I know that is I spent nearly three or four days testing our different USB drives and hardly any of them worked guys, or if they did work, they kept on crashing. So you really have to get the right USB drive. Now, the one I've had most success with is this particular SanDisk drive, which costs 10 pounds from Amazon. And it's actually noted for being particularly fast and it supports transfer rates for up to 150 meg, which you may or may not get because this is USB three. But again, this is actually a USB two port or this is a USB two port that we plug into. So when I first plugged in this USB drive into the OTG port, we can see what happens. The fact that I saw that logo there basically indicated to me that the underlying operating system does know when a USB drive is plugged in. It probably knows how to use this as internal storage. It probably even knows how to move applications from the internal storage here onto the USB drive, but Amazon have just hidden those options. Now this is where the beauty of ADB comes in, Android Debug Bridge, because that allows us to interface with our Fire Stick over command line. Now using that command line, we can enter a command to basically tell a Fire Stick, hey, I've just plugged in a USB drive, make this as internal storage or adopted storage and allow me to move applications from here onto there. And that's exactly what we'll be doing next. Okay, so for us to ADB onto our 4K Fire Stick, we need to do three things. Firstly, we need to enable ADB. Secondly, we need to check the IP address of our device. And lastly, we need to have an ADB client. Let's do the first one now. Just go into your settings, go to My Fire TV, go to developer options, and just make sure this option is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, press back on the remote. Let's go to about, and inside network, we can now confirm the IP address of our Fire Stick. And in my case, the IP address ends in 102. Let's back out of that. Now, the last thing we need to do is use an ADB client. Now, depending on what kind of user you are, you may prefer to do ADB from your cell phone. You can do ADB from your computer, but the method I'm going to show uses an application called Remote ADB Shell. So that means you can do everything from your Fire Stick. You don't have to go over to your computer or use your cell phone. All of the commands or everything we're going to do can be done direct on your 4K Fire Stick. Now, this application is available on my downloads page. Now, before you open this up, plug in your USB drive into the OTG port. So let me just do that now. Let me get this and let's see if we can plug this in. 
and let's see if our 4K Fire Stick actually understands or notices a drive has been plugged in. There it is. So that's the notification you're looking for and make sure you do get that on your device. If you don't get that, maybe try restarting your device. Alternatively, just use another USB drive because really the device or the 4K Fire Stick does need to detect that this device has been plugged in. Once it's detected that, let's now open this up. And we now need to enter in the IP address of our 4K Fire Stick to make that ADB connection. Now in my case, we can see it's already set to 102, but if you need to change this, you can just click here and just update the IP address to wherever your IP address is. But as we said, mine is 102. Let's click on that. Let's press next. The default port for ADB is 5555, so just confirm it says that and click on next. And we can now press down on the remote and click on connect. Now you may see a pop-up, mine just flashed away very quickly, but you may see a pop-up just asking you to confirm, do you allow this device, which is actually itself, to make the ADB connection. So in my case, I clicked on yes before, and I selected the option always allow this connection, which means I can always make an ADB connection from my device to the Fire Stick without any more prompts. Now for the people that are doing this from your computer or cell phone, when you do type in that command ADB connect, you will see a pop-up on the Fire Stick. You just need to accept that before you continue. Okay, so we made a successful ADB connection to our 4K Fire Stick. We now just need to give it a few commands so it understands that this USB drive can actually be used for internal storage or you know, to install applications to. The first command will ask the 4K Fire Stick which storage devices you can actually see. And the command for that is just SM space list disks. Now you can enter in all of these commands with the standard Fire Stick remote control, but as you can imagine, it is just so much easier using a Bluetooth remote control. But for the very first command, let me just show you that you can use a standard controller. So let's press down on the remote, make sure this thing here is highlighted. Let's press the select button and let's now enter in that command, which is just S M space list hyphen and then disks. So D I SKS. Let's type that in and we can click on run or you can press the play button on your remote. Let's do that now. Let's press the back button and here we can see the result here. So it's identified one disk that it can use as internal storage and the disk ID for that is 8 comma 0. Now when you do this on your device you may come up with a different ID and this ID is very important because the next command we're going to enter is going to format that drive but you have to give it a particular disk ID so just make sure you do use the correct disk ID. Now for the second command we're going to format this drive as internal storage. Now we have two options here. Either we can format the entire drive as internal storage. So in my case, because I have a 32 gig drive, I have 32 gigs of storage on the USB drive that I can now use to install applications directly on there. I can move applications which were previously on my internal storage of my Fire Stick onto the USB drive. The only negative thing with this option is, if I take this USB drive out and plug it into my computer, I won't actually be able to access any of the data on there. So let's say I wanted to copy some uh, ROMs for my emulators or maybe some games or maybe some APKs. Basically, as soon as you format all of it as internal storage, you can't use this on your computer anymore. The only place you can use it is the actual Fire Stick. Now the second option, which I actually prefer, allows us to format a portion or let's say half of the storage. So in my case, because I have a 32 gig drive, I can format 16 gig as internal storage. So I can use that for all of my applications and install stuff and move stuff onto. But the remaining 16 gigabytes, I can still use on my computer. So I could take this USB drive out, plug into my computer. I could then copy across some ROMs or some APKs. So I still have 16 gigs of storage that I can use as a standard USB drive. And the original 16, as we mentioned, will be used for the internal storage. And the command for that is SM space partition. As you can see, I'm using my Bluetooth keyboard here. So SM space partition space and then disk because we're going to partition our disk. Then we do a colon, and this is the key part, guys. We now need to enter in our disk ID. So we know in my example, my disk ID is 8 comma 0. So let me now enter in 8 comma 0 space. Now, if you do want to go for the first option, which is format the entire USB drive as internal storage, just type here private and then run that as the command. And this will then format all of it as internal storage. Now, in my case, because I'm going to go for the mixed option, the command is mixed, which basically means I want to use some as internal and some as normal USB storage. And you then need to enter in a percentage. So because I'm going to go for 50-50, I'm going to enter in here 50, which once again means 50% of my USB drive will be used for internal storage. I can install applications and move applications, etc. And the remaining 50% I can use as a standard USB drive on my computer or anywhere else. Okay, let's now press enter. 
Let's see if that works. Now you will see for a second that it looks like that the USB drive has actually been moved, but that's just the command taking effect and we can see it then reinserts itself. Let's give that another second. And that's it guys. So if you don't want to really move any applications from this point forward, any application I now install onto my 4K Fire Stick will be installed directly on the USB drive automatically. So let me just quickly show you that now. Okay, let's press the home key. Let's now see, for example, if I download an application from Downloader. I should have some downloaded already. Okay, so here is file link. This is a nine meg application. Let's now install this onto a USB drive. Okay, let's click on install. Okay, let's click on done. Now, before we open it, let's go into settings. Let's just verify exactly where file link has been installed. So let's go to applications. And here we can just see guys, we have 1.74 gigs of space available right now. Let's go to manage install applications. Let's scroll down. And here we can just see guys, this application is now running directly from the USB drive. So, well, if you guys are impressed with this, then please do take a minute to press the like button and also think about subscribing if you do want to see more tutorials on the 4K Fire Stick, on the second generation Fire TV Cube, and even the brand new Nvidia Shield Pro, and even your standard Android boxes. So if you do want to see more tutorials on all these devices, then definitely do hit that thumbs up and do think about subscribing. Thank you. Okay, let's back out of that. So we now prove that any new application that we install now will automatically go straight onto the USB drive, which won't take up any more space from our internal storage. Now, the other thing you may want to do is actually move applications. So move something that you've already installed that was previously on your internal storage. How can we move those applications onto our USB drive? So for that, let's pick two applications. Uh, let's just go for, let's go for the K application because that does get quite large. So let's move this application and let's move this IPVanish application, which is the VPN I'm currently using. So how do we move these two applications to our USB drive? So let's go back to ADB. Okay, so for us to move applications which were previously installed on your 4K Fire Stick's internal storage onto the USB drive, we need to run just two commands. The first command will give us the volume name of our USB drive and the second command will say, move this package or APK or application onto that particular volume, which is the USB drive. So to get the volume name of your USB drive, the command we need to enter in is mount, M-O-U-N-T. And we now need to type in the pipe character, which looks like a vertical line. Now on this keyboard here, it should be this one here, but for whatever reason, I can't get it working. So if anybody knows how to type in the pipe command using mini keyboard, then do let me know. But what we can do here is we can use the Amazon keyboard to do this. So if I press the select button here and we go to symbols, and what we're looking for here is this one. So the command is mount space, the pipe symbol space, and then type in grep, which means you're trying to search for something or you know grab something. And what we're trying to search for, expand, because we want to see the expandable storage. So X and let's click on run. Or we can actually press the back button here because we want to see the command. And I can now press enter on the remote or click on run. Let's run that. And there is guys, so this long string of characters here is the actual volume name of our USB drive. And that's the volume name we need to tell the Fire Stick when we wanna move applications from the internal storage to the USB drive. So let's do that now. Let's start by moving the K application. Now, now the command to move any application to the USB drive is just PM space, move package space, the package name, and then the volume name. So in the example of the K application, um, if you don't know, the actual uh, package name for that is org.xbmc. And then the you know, KODI, you know, the K word. Um, so let's say, for example, we want to move that now. But let's say you don't know what the package name is. So one command you can type in to list all of the package names installed on your 4K Fire Stick is just PM space list packages. Because basically, you're asking the device now, show me which packages are already installed. Let's press enter. And here we can see all of the applications or packages that are installed on my 4K Fire Stick. So if I just scroll up and we can find here, for example, you can see a Clean Master. Here's the Termux, that's the application I'm using right now. Um, let's scroll up again. Uh, let's see if we can find, and there it is guys. So that is the one. So that's the one for the K application. So let's now actually move this application to my USB drives. So now that we have the package name of the application we want to move, let me just bring up the volume name again. Now, if you do want to enter in a command that you previously entered, just make sure that the bottom line is highlighted. If it's not, just press down on the remote. We can see it's highlighted now. Then press and hold the select button. This will show you all of the commands that you previously typed in. So here is the command, for example, to see the volume name. Let's click on that. Let's press run. Let's back out of this. And here we can see again, guys. So this is the volume name that we need. So I'm actually going to copy and paste that. So let's just click here. Okay, so I've got all of the volume name highlighted. 
Let me click on copy and let's now actually type in the command guys to move the care application. So again, the command is PM move hyphen package and then the package name. So as we know with the care application is just org dot xbmc, which was the original name of the care application dot and then that. And we can now paste in the volume name and the shortcut to paste anything is just control V. Let's try that now. And that's the volume name. So, so it's PM move package. This is the package name I want to move. And this is the volume I want to move it to. So let's press enter and let's see if that works. Now am I talking total rubbish or what? <laughs> but we can see here guys, I've just made a total mistake because instead of writing XBMC, I wrote XMBC. So my mistake there. Again, we know now to bring up the last command you typed in, I can just press and hold the select button. Okay, so I'm probably gonna cut that out if I remember to. Um, <laughs> and let's just make sure, let's go back out of here. And let's just make sure we've now actually typed in the correct package name, which we know is XBMC, Bora Plonka. Okay, so we've got the correct package name there now, so XBMC, let's try that again. And this should now start moving the application from the internal storage onto the USB drive and you get the success message guys. So now in theory, if we go out of this, remember we had 1.67 gigs of space left and we can see our free space has gone up because the application has been moved. And if I go into manage and install applications, let's scroll down. I'm hoping that the care application has that new logo next to it. So this application now is 100% running from my USB drive, which now frees up all that space from internal storage. And of course, if I launch it, let's see how quick this application launches. And there, so guys, so maybe five seconds, maybe a couple of seconds longer than the internal storage, but the main thing is we're now not limited to the very low storage of the 4K Fire Stick. We can now use our USB drive to greatly increase that storage. And we see this application is working absolutely fine. Let's back out of this. And now for the last test before we go, guys, let's move one more application. Let's move IPVanish. So again, we should be quite familiar with this now. So first we need to find the package name for IPVanish. Um, now if you want to search for a package name, what you can do is you can type in PM list uh, packages and we can use the grep command again because we're now searching for something. So let's type in the pipe symbol. Let's type in grep and I guess it probably will be called vanish. So let's just type in I'll just type in IPV and let's see if we can find which applications or which packages have that in their name. Okay, let's run that. And there it is guys. So that is the package name for IPVanish and we can see how I basically found that. Okay, so let's now actually move IPVanish to the USB drive. So again, the command is just PM space move package, then the package name. So for us, it's just com dot I X O lit dot ipvanish that's the package name there and then space and then we need the volume name again so let's just press Control v because that should be in my copy paste history there it is and let's see if this works first time let's press enter now within five four three two one and we have a success guys so we've now also moved this application from the internal storage onto our USB 3 drive. So guys, I really do hope you found this video useful. So many of you are asking, especially when I made the how to expand storage on the Fire TV Cube, which is just obviously so much easier because it's actually built into the operating system. So many of you are asking, can we actually do this on the 4K Fire Stick? And I did say to you guys, I'm gonna try my best to find a solution. Uh, we can see the space has gone up even more. And it looks like I've actually found a working solution. So again, if you did find this video useful, guys, there it is, guys. If you did find this video useful, then please do take a moment to press the like button. Also share this video, guys. Share this video on Facebook or whichever social networks you're using because really just sharing my videos, leaving comments, and of course subscribing is the best way to help me out. So for all of that, many thanks, guys. Do let me know what you thought about this video. Leave me a comment below, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.